All right, moving right along, perpendicular lines. Okay, similar concept, except perpendicular lines form a right angle, and their slopes are what we call negative reciprocals. Okay, perpendiculars form a right angle. That means a 90-degree angle, and their slopes are negative reciprocals. Vertical lines are perpendicular to horizontal lines. So we need to figure out which of these lines are parallel or perpendicular. Okay, first thing, let's put them all into slope-intercept form so we know right where the slope is. Notice line A is in slope-intercept form, so our slope is always the number right before X, or our M in this case, so our slope is 4. Now this one, let's put in slope-intercept form. We need to move that X to the right side of the equation. 4Y equals negative X plus 3. Divide by 4. we got to divide everything by 4. So those are gone there. Y equals negative 1 fourth. Okay, if there's nothing before the X, we can assume there's a 1. Plus 3 fourths. Okay, and let's move our um, line C. Let's make that into slope-intercept form as well. So let's, let's go ahead and add our 2X. So we're left with a negative. Add it on both sides. Negative 8Y equals 2X plus 16. Divide by our negative 8 to everything. So those are gone. Y equals 2 over negative 8. We can simplify that to a negative 1 fourth X minus 2. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Subtraction. Now, the only thing we're care we care about are slopes. Okay, We only care about our slopes. Let me throw an X in there. Now, our slope for line B and C, they're the same. They're the exact same, so we know those are parallel. Okay, so we can say B and C are parallel. Now, look at line A, though. 4, we can write as 4 over 1. A negative reciprocal, all it is is, remember, a reciprocal is the friction, the fraction flipped. Now, a negative, we just add a negative onto it. So if we had 4 over 1, the negative reciprocal to 4 over 1 is going to be a negative one-fourth. Okay, now these aren't equal, okay, but this is what a negative reciprocal is. Four over one, the negative, we flip the fraction, add a negative on there. So negative one-fourth. So notice, line A will be perpendicular. We'll just abbreviate here. Line A is perpendicular. Look at the slopes for B and C. Negative one-fourth, negative one-fourth. Those are negative reciprocals to line A's slope. So A is perpendicular to B and C. They'll form at a right angle.